Now, your Super Doppler 10 forecast with meteorologist Steve Fundero. Fortunate enough to have a beautiful Sunday. The humidity was down. It was downright flawless outside, especially in the shade. A little hot in the sun, but in the shade, temps were stuck in the 80s, upper 80s for most of us, but it felt nice as that humidity got cut down a little bit. Hopefully you got to enjoy it because that changes as we move into the next couple of days here. That humidity comes back as moisture is moving in from the south. Showers along the I-95 corridor for now we are going to stay out there. We do not see our rainfall move in for the next five -ish, six ish hours or so. There's plenty more where that came from though out towards central parts of North Carolina that builds in along with this stationary front for our Monday morning commute. There's going to be some scattered showers around a couple downpours, a couple thunderstorms to contend with uh, up until then. Generally just increasing clouds through the night. We'll see some rainfall move in to our western parts of our region as early as uh, 4 or 5 a.m. And then generally on our Monday, it's just going to be a muggy day with showers confined to the morning hours. Did you see our temperatures, though? Low 80s for most of us. We may struggle to hit 85 degrees for the day tomorrow. I think we will in a couple spots, but I think what we'll notice most is the humidity coming back. So yes, temperatures are technically going to be way below our standard for this time of year. It may feel just as uh, uh, warm as dew points come back into the 70s. So the mugginess returns and the mugginess is going to be with us all week long. Now rain chances only going to be with us for Monday. They turn pretty slim for the rest of the week going to spotty basically uh, uh, slim to none from Tuesday through the rest of the week. So once we get through tomorrow's rainfall, we got a lot of sun to contend with for the uh, uh, entirety of our work week, but that means more summer heat. And by mid to late week, temperatures reaching the low to mid 90s will feel closer to the low 100s, especially Friday. That'll be the hotter day we'll have to contend with. We could be looking at a high of 95, 96. With humidity values, it may feel even more than 103. So in the distant horizon is some summer heat. In the shorter horizon uh, or the short term, we've got some showers on the way. So let's get through that. As the clouds increase tonight, here's 4 a.m. Notice some rainfall heavy at times moving into western parts of the region, filling in through the morning commute 6, 7, 8 a.m. There's going to be some pockets of heavy rain, uh, some darker colors out there. So that could mean some ponding on the roadways. That could mean some heavy rain where you, all, you could reduce your visibility driving around. So something to keep in mind through the early morning commute. But by mid to late morning, the rain starts to ease up a little bit. We'll still have scattered showers around into the afternoon, but we'll get a little bit of sun in between. And then Monday evening, Looks pretty good here once we head towards that sunset time frame. And then we got a lot of sunshine to return on Tuesday with only an isolated shower here or there. More sunshine, though, means those temperatures get back to near summer standards here. Low 90s by midweek, mid 90s by the end of the week, and that's when it'll feel at least like 100 degrees.